Hello everyone, how are you today? Today we will study Access 6, Lesson 7F. And first, let's review the homework from Lesson E. So, first, exercise 1. You have to write five water activities, five park activities, five sports, and five winter activities. Okay, here are some answers for you. So, some activities we can do in the water are swim. We can swim. We can kayak. We can water ski. Number four, sail. And number five, snorkel. These are five water activities. Next, five park activities. What can we do in the park? We can run, run in the park, or walk. We can fish at the park. Also, fly a kite at the park. And we can take photos at the park. These are some park activities. Okay, next, five sports. What are some sports? There is basketball. Basketball is a sport. There is Soccer. Soccer is a sport too. There is baseball. And number four, tennis. And last, volleyball. Volleyball. These are five different sports. And last, D. Winter activities. What can we do in the winter? We can snowboard in the winter. We can ski in the winter. Also, we can make a snowman. And we can ice skate. And finally, we can play hockey. Hockey. This is a sport in winter. Okay? So now we finish exercise one. Let's start exercise two. Here are six verbs we studied in Lesson E. Look, dance, cook, listen, paint, and talk. First, we will write the simple past. That's looked, danced, cooked, listened, painted, and talked. So, they all have ED. What sound does ED make in the verbs? Number one is looked. Looked. It makes the sound t. So, we will check t. Number two is danced. Danced. Again, t, danced. Three is k, 
coat, coat. Again, t. Number four is listen, listen. This is the sound d. So check d. Number five is painted, painted. It's the sound i. Painted. And number six is talked, talked. Again, the sound t. Okay. Looked, danced, cooked, listened, painted, and talked. Okay. Now we finish the homework for you. Okay. Let's learn some new vocabulary about the Incas. Do you know the Incas? The Incas lived in South America, here in Peru, the country Peru, about 500 years ago. The Incas were a very interesting people. So. Let's learn some words about them. Okay, number one. If this is corn, it's corn. The Incas grew and ate corn. All right, number two. It's a palace. Pa less. A palace is like a big, expensive house. Maybe a king or a queen lives in a palace. Okay, three is South America. South America. South America is a continent. It's a big piece of land with lots of countries. South America has Brazil, Argentina, Colombia, Peru, and more. Number four. This is a temple. 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 A temple is like. A church or pagoda. The Incas prayed to their gods at a temple. Okay, number five. Do you know this? This is a potato. 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 The Incas ate lots of corn and. Potatoes. Number six. Do you see this? It's a village. 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 A village is like a city, but it's smaller. Maybe one hundred or two hundred people live in a village. It has some. Houses, and it's very small. A village is small. And number seven. This is an emperor. 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 An emperor is the same as a king, but an emperor is stronger and more powerful. Than a king, so it's like a king but very strong. Okay, now it's time to review the words. One is corn. Two, palace. Three, South America. Four, temple. Five, potato. Six. Village and seven emperor. Okay, now let's play a little game. 
I will put the pictures on the board, but you can't see one. Can you guess what word it is? Let's try it. do you know about the Incas? History tells us that the Incas were very clever people. Let's see why. The Incas lived in the Andes Mountains in South America. Each emperor, called the Sapa Inca or the Child of the Sun, lived in a palace in Cuzco. Cuzco was the capital of the Incan Empire. The emperor's advisors lived in the palace and helped him. Incan people lived in small villages. They worked very hard. They worked in the fields to grow corn, potatoes, beans and peppers. They also raised ducks and dogs. Most Incas lived in stone houses. There weren't any doors in their houses. The people had everything they needed. Their temples were very beautiful. A great place to visit today is Machu Picchu. The name of their city is Machu Picchu. It is a beautiful ancient city high up on a mountain. The Incas had a great system of roads. They used animals to transport food across the empire. Do you know anything else about the Incas? Did you know they were also great inventors? Did you know there were Incan artists and mathematicians? Why not learn more about them for yourself? Now let's do the reading. I want you to read again silently and answer some questions about the Incas. First, there are four yes or no questions. They are, number one, did the Incas grow corn? Two, did the Incas live in the mountains? Three, did the Incas have beautiful temples? And four, did the Incas have elephants? Next, there are four yet a true or false questions. 
Number one is the Incas lived in North America. Two, their emperor lived in a palace. Three, the Incas were farmers. And four, they didn't travel far. Okay, so please read again and try to answer the questions. Are you finished reading? Now, let's take up the answers. Okay. Did the Incas grow horn? The answer is yes. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. They did grow corn. Two, did the Incas live in the mountains? The answer is yes, they did. The Incas did live in the mountains. Number three, did the Incas have beautiful temples? Again, the answer is yes. Yes, they did. And finally, number four, did the Incas have elephants? The answer is no, they didn't. They didn't have elephants. No, they didn't. No elephants in South America. Okay, now exercise one, true or false. Question one is, the Incas lived in North America. Is it true? or false? It's false. It's not North America. They lived in South America. Two, their emperor lived in a palace. This one is true. He did. He lived in a big, beautiful palace. Three, the Incas were farmers. This one is true. They were farmers. They grew lots of food, like corn and potatoes and beans. And finally, number four, they didn't travel far. This one is false. They did travel far. In the reading, it says, they used animals to transport food across the empire. So, they traveled all around South America and the mountains with their animals. Okay, now we finish the reading and the question. Now let's start exercise two about grammar. Here on the board are five WH question words. These are words with WH we use at the beginning of a sentence to make questions. There are five question words today. Number one is what. What? 
We use this word to ask about things. For example, what is this? It's a marker. And we can use this to ask about verbs too. For example, what activity do you like? Um, I like shopping. Number two, the question word is why. We use this question word to ask about reasons. For example, why do you like bananas? Um, I like bananas because they are yummy. Because they are yummy, this is a reason. It's why I like bananas. Number three is when. When. We use this question word to ask about times. For example, when do you have dinner? I have dinner at six o'clock. Six o'clock is a time. Number four, the question word is where. Where. This question word we use to talk about places. For example, where is the school? It's next to the supermarket. The school, the supermarket, these are two places. So we use where to ask about them. Number five is who. Who. This question word we use to ask about people. For example, who is your favorite singer? Okay, my favorite singer is Katy Perry. So she is a person and we use who to ask about them. Okay, now I'd like you to try to make five questions about the Incas with the five question words. Okay, make five questions and answer them about the Incas. Use what, why, when, where, and who. Now, your homework for today. Your homework has two parts. In exercise one, read about the famous actor Tom Cruise and answer some questions about him. You have to write one question word to complete the question. In part two of your homework, you have to read about the Aztecs, another people from history. Read about the Aztecs and answer the questions about them. Okay, so that's all for today. The lesson is finished. Goodbye everyone, see you soon.